Oh my god, man. Jeez, holy crap. All right, y'all, today we're about to do some trout fishing. Over the years, I feel like I've accumulated some knowledge, you know, from trial and error and research. Yeah, we're about to go out to the water, out to this little creek. There should be some fish in here. I, I think they're actually stocked today. I don't know, hopefully we catch something. My goal today is to try to catch a fish on all five of my like favorite trout lure slash baits. This might be all over the place. I don't really know if it's gonna happen or not. But yeah, then at the end of this video, I'm gonna go in depth with, you know, like my favorite lures, my favorite strategies, you know, the essentials. Cause specifics with trout fishing can be very important, even down to like the line that you use. So let me stop talking, man. Let's get down to the water hopefully we can catch a freaking fish all right let's get it they stocked us today they just did there's oh. a whole bunch right there but they're not biting there's a whole bunch right there in that spot but they're not biting oh so they literally just stocked it about a half hour oh half hour. Hour. oh really so it's fresh all right so they just stocked i didn't even know they were stocking today ah well that's a rip i got snagged on like the first cast all right so this is good. Well, it's kind of good. For one thing, we know that there's fish in here. I mean, I don't know if anybody caught any, but you said they're just kind of sitting there. I remember this, this happened like a couple times. I've been here like when they just stock it and these trout are just like, they're schooled up, but they're just in shock. Yeah, we got to figure this out here. Hey, look. Nothing. How about you? Nah. There's a lot of frogs around here. I've never yeah. seen this many freaking frogs. It's crazy. I might get down here. This mud is scary. Oh, you see that snake right there? Right there. Yeah, right? <laughs> I feel like I should. Hey, just a heads up. There's a snake right there. Right there. Okay, it went down the waterfall. It was like hunting you down. <laughs> I just imagined it like crawling up her leg or something. I would have felt bad. There we go. Oh yeah. On the trout magnet. Whew. All right. Top of lip, beautiful. Beautiful rainbow trout, let me wet my hands real quick. Really pretty one, actually. Slim back. Not keeping any today. That was a really, really pretty fish right there, though, man. Whew. I think that might be the best one across the part of the season. There's a fish. There's a fish. On the pink worm. Come here, boy. Woo, all right, so we got trout magnet. This is the second fish of the day right there on the pink worm. Just let them go here. Beautiful, beautiful fish. This is the setup right here. Just got this little floating worm. Then you got some split shots just to hold it down. That is, uh, I just caught that fish on. Yeah, I mean, these fish are like super finicky. They were just stocked earlier, of course, but maybe this is what they want, man. A little, little floating pink worm. A little wacky rig style. There's a lot in there. There is a lot in there, yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Because I've been skunked. How's it going, man? Have you noticed there's like an absurd amount of frogs around over here? All right, y'all. So as I said, these fish were super finicky. So I left and got lunch. And right now I, I went back and I had to pee. So I peed on this tree and I guess I forgot to turn my GoPro back on. I missed one of my catches. I caught a fish on power bait. So add that to my list of baits that I caught fish with that day, even though not really because you guys didn't see it. But then I came down here. I decided, you know what? We're going to be throwing an inline spinner. This is one of my favorite trout baits of all time. I was like, yo, let's see if we can cross this one off the list here for today. There's one. There's one on the spinner. That's a decent one. Come here, buddy. First one of the day here on a little spinner. Oh, that's a freaking, oh, that's a nice fish right there. Beautiful freaking rainbow trout on the spinner. Just look at that right there, man. Oh gosh, all right, I'm gonna let him go. I'm actually gonna let this guy go on Instagram. So if you follow me, man, you guys probably saw the release, but this is a nice fish. All right, so that is, I think, what is that? So you got one on the trout magnet? I got one on the uh, little pink worm. I got one on power bait. You guys didn't actually see that, but I actually got hooked it. I gave it to a guy. This is the fourth one of the day. This little spinner right here.
There we go. Oh my god. That's a decent fish right there. That's a freaking big one. That's a nice fish right there, dude. Holy crap. Oh my god, bro. Jeez. I got a little black marabou jig. Holy crap. I have never had a freaking rainbow trout fight like that. Oh my god. Bro, what is going on? You think? Holy crap. Yo, it can't even fit in the net. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. Yo, that is freaking, that is a fat fish. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. Holy freaking crap. Yo, let's freaking go, dude. You guys, look at this freaking trout. Dude, my heart is beating so fast. Oh my god. That's what I got him on right here. Just a little black marabou jig. You guys saw me throwing this in the last video, dude. Oh my god, bro. How's it going, man? Hey, you think you can take a picture of it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just don't, I'm just looking at it. I don't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> Look at my free, that's my hand. This thing could, this, it can't even fit in the net. Holy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude. Out of all the times I've ever fished this freaking creek, man. I've never gone. Oh my gosh, man. This is just, this is just an awesome day. I was literally out here the whole day. Like, I don't even know how to explain what just happened, man. I think that fish is a citation fish. And if you guys don't know what that means, pretty much you get like, kind of like a little paper award thing if you have a certain size or certain length fish. I'm not exactly sure of like the length or anything for rainbow trout on Delaware, but I think the size is two pounds. By the way, we are in one of my bathrooms right here. Huh? Shout out to Kelsey for those curtains. All right, now this probably looks kind of weird, especially if you didn't know what you're doing here, but look, at this, man. Kelsey, please don't get mad if this is in our bathtub. Now, I've been fishing these creeks here in Delaware for a long time, like years, and I have never caught anything this freaking nice, man. It's kind of stiff right now, but holy freaking crap, dude. Pretty much, I'm just gonna keep it in water. I'm gonna pour some ice in here just to try to preserve, you know, the whole, like, weight and everything. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna take this to a local bait shop. As I said, I think it has to be two pounds to be a citation, so I think this guy's gonna cut it right here, man. As I said, I've been fishing this freaking creek for so long. I have never yoinked anything like that out of, like, what? All right, really quickly, I'm just editing this right now. I just feel like I have to say something. So these fish that are stocked here in Delaware are to take. They're not gonna survive the hot temperatures or the hot water in the summer. Now, normally with the fish like this, I'd wanna release it so somebody else, you know, gets the opportunity to, you know, catch a freaking giant fish. But I wanted to wait because, you know, I never have a scale with me. And also, like I said, man, this is potentially an award-winning fish. So, you know, to not take it to the bait shop and get it weighed, I don't know, man, I feel like I kind of would have regretted that. So yeah, that's basically for anybody out here who thinks, you know, I'm taking the breeders that are gonna reproduce. Those don't reproduce in our creeks here. All right, I just had to clear the air there for anybody wondering. Let's get back to the video. All right, y'all, that was the next day. We were here at the bait shop. Let's go see if this gets us an award. Go all the way to the bottom. 13 inches to Let's go. All right, so if you guys just saw that right there, 3.28 pounds. It had to be two pounds to get the citation. Now, if you guys remember in a video like a little bit ago, I was like, yo, I want to get some citations this year. That is the first one, rainbow trout, 3.28 pounds. That, that is just insane. My first official citation is coming to me in the mail. I am hype, man. I'll show you guys that when I get it. So I know this video has been kind of literally like all over the place, but for right now, I'm going to talk to you guys kind of, you know, like about trout fishing. I just want to help as many people as I can with this video. I mean, I remember I used to be out there. Everybody was catching fish around me. I had no clue what I was doing. I wasn't catching any fish. By no means am I like an expert. But yeah, over the past couple of years, done a lot of trial and error, done a lot of research, talked to a lot of people. I feel like I've kind of formulated like what works in my area for stock trout fishing season. When I go to the creek, I'm pretty much throwing one of these five things. I'll rank these from like easiest to use to, you know, more difficult, but none of these are really like difficult at all. First is power bait or power eggs. This is, I mean, everybody throws this at the creek. It's super effective. It, it just works. So these are farm fed fish. 
fish, the fish that they stock in here. They feed on, you know, little pellets that they give them in the hatcheries. So pretty much you make the dough into a little ball that covers your whole hook. I recommend a tiny little size 12 hook. That's the one that I use. Pretty much you just want to cover the hook. You do not want the trout to see the hook because they will see that. And some of them, you know, they won't bite because of that. So yeah, super, super easy rig. This is kind of what it looks like right here. Pretty much you got your line going down. You got a split shot. You got more line going down and then to your hook. And then you just put the power bait on your hook or the power bait egg. So the split shot's going to be on the bottom and then your power bait or your power egg is going to be floating. That's what they do. They float. So depending on where the trout are in the water column, you kind of want to, you know, adjust your split shot accordingly so it floats at the right height. It's super, super effective bait. But personally, I know I talked about this a lot on the channel. It's just not the most fun bait to use because you kind of just sit there, you know, with your rod and just like wait. So that's the power bait. Next up is the power worm or this little pink worm. Basically, it's like a little floating, like a little plastic worm. You guys saw me use it in the video today. Basically, I just put it on the same kind of rig I put the power bait on. Split shot, wacky rig it on a little size 12 hook and, you know, it floats. So you just want it wherever you think those trout are in the water column. You can also put it on a jig head and, you know, jig it in the water column. But I actually have a full video on the little pink worm if you want to click up here it was a while ago but it's it's a video next up is one of my favorite man it is the inline spinner you guys saw me catch a fish on it in this video right here probably one of my favorite ways to catch trout pretty much if you don't know what it is it's got a little treble hook on the back it has little metal blades and when you reel it through the water it vibrates it has a lot of flash it definitely gets the fish's attention now this is really good for brown trout because they like the more moving baits but rainbow trout will also hit this as well now for stock trout fishing i would recommend a 1 8 ounce size inline spinner doesn't really matter what brand i prefer rooster tails and top Thomas EP series and Meps Aglia. Those are all pretty good. Next bait, this is probably like the best overall bait if you could actually get it out to where you want it and work it properly. This is like the trout slayer right here. This honestly, this is this is a really good bait. I am talking about the trout magnet. So this actually comes with a 164 ounce jig head and these super, super tiny little soft plastics. If you guys have not tried this yet for trout, definitely give it a try, but you kind of like need to have the right conditions. Since it is so light, like 164 ounce, you cannot cast it very far and you know, you don't want it in too much current because it's not really gonna sink to the strike zone. You really, you know, got to use this in slow moving pools, but you can also, if you want, put a little weighted float above. I've seen people do this. If you guys go and click this video right here, I actually show off the past two baits, the spinner and the trout magnet. Yeah, those two baits, man, they were killing it. All right, so we got power bait, power worm, inline spinner, trout magnet. The last thing I go to the creek and throw. Remember, this isn't like factual. This is just what I go to the creek and I throw for stock trout. The last thing and the thing I've been having the most fun with this year is the marabou jig or the hair jig. My buddy Jimmy actually put me onto these last year. He makes his own and I was like, yo, these really work really well. If you guys saw my last video from opening day, I limited out with the black hair jig, like super, super quick. It's a very like, I don't know, man, it's just a good bait to use. Pretty much you just cast it out there, let it sink, and then kind of start jigging it. I recommend a 1 16th ounce size. Definitely check this video out up here if you want to see just how effective those are. So I actually forgot about these too. These are called power bait mouse tails, mice tails, something like that. These are really, really good bait to throw. Pretty much just hook these through the head. I just use these kind of like my wood power bait. They have a really good action, you know, if there's a good current. And I actually have a whole video on these as well. So definitely go up there check that out if you uh want to see these in action i don't know how i forgot about these man so that is pretty much what i use for baits now rod and reel wise rod and reel are not really as important i've been using a really really cheap rod and reel this year the thing that matters the most probably is the line trout are one of the most line shy fish whether they're stocked or not most of them i mean they just will not bite if they see the line personally what i use and what i think is the best line for stock trout fishing is four pound fluorocarbon now you can use monofilament as well i just like fluorocarbon a little better it's a little harder for the fish to see under the water but monofilament is a lot cheaper so so if you want to go that way, definitely. I mean, four pound mono, two pound mono. But yeah, I would not recommend using anything, you know, above four pound. If that is what you were using and you were not catching fish, I mean, that is, that is probably why. I'm not saying, you know, that trout will not bite with heavier line, but it, it's just, you know, a lot less likely. The only other tips I could really give you, I mean, waders definitely help a lot to get to spots, you know, that you can't really hit from shore. And especially when it's colder outside, you don't want to, you know, get freeze your freaking. And then this year, I don't know if you guys realized it in the last video or not, but I actually have one of those nets that strap onto you. Freaking game changer, man. If you guys have been around the channel for a while, you know that I used to not bring a net and I used to lose a lot of fish because of it. So definitely I would recommend you getting one of those nets, the smaller nets that can, you know, strap onto your back or something like that. Or, you know, just have a normal net, carry it around. I would definitely recommend having a net if you don't want to lose a lot of fish like I have. Ooh, but yeah, overall, that's like my basic stock trout fishing starter course. I mean, there's a lot more that I could go into, but that's just like the basics. The main problem I see is people using too heavy of lines. So yeah, hopefully this helps a lot of you guys out there. I got a lot of questions in the comments and a lot of DMs about, you know, trout fishing. How do I trout fish? Can't catch any fish. Now, I cannot guarantee that you're going to catch fish if you do 
everything that I say. I don't know, man. It's fishing. But this is just some stuff I've learned over the years. This is, you know, my favorite baits, my favorite ways to do this. Hopefully that did not bore you guys like too much. Okay, man, that is pretty much going to do it here today for this video. We got on a decent-ish amount of fish for the amount of times, you know, we switched up the bait. It's hard to switch from something that's working to try to, you know, to, I don't know. I just like, I honestly cannot believe that we caught that freaking giant, man. For Delaware, I didn't mean the creeks around here. I've never, li I've literally never caught anything like that. For me, that was like, that was a fish of a lifetime pulling out from one of my hometown creeks. And it's cool that I actually, you know, have the footage of it. It's like, it's, it's something cool to remember. Ooh, but yeah, man, if you guys did enjoy this video today, please go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really would mean a lot to me. And if you do enjoy my videos, but you are not already, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button. And if you never want to miss an upload from me, go down there, hit that notification bell. That will make sure YouTube, you know, notifies you, or at least it should notify you every time I put out a new video. And if you want to stay up to date with me as much as possible, go down there, follow me on Instagram. I post stories every single day, or at least I try to post, you know, behind the scenes stuff. All right, but that's pretty much it here. All I got to say, man, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you can catch some more trout with those tips. I'll see you next video.